welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. A lot of lecturers have told me that they have difficulties recording their audio. I think Audacity as an open source software is the perfect tool for doing what you need to do. So in the end of this tutorial, I will tell you where to download Audacity. So let's begin. If you see um, the graphical user interface here, all you need to do to start a recording is to press the record button. But before you do so, you need to set up your inputs and your outputs. How do you do it? The input tab is here and you normally select your default audio input. In this case, I selected the iMac Pro microphone, but I also have a sound card here in case you guys are a little bit more advanced and also have sound cards. And the output is gonna be my iMac Pro speaker. So that's gonna be the default. But again, I can choose an output uh, that is a sound card. So once this is done, and I'll keep it simple, you're choosing the input microphone from your computer and you're choosing your output, which is your speakers. Once that's done, you press record and you do a simple recording. Test, one, two, test, test. And pretty much done. You can hear it uh, back, so you're gonna press the spacebar or you select an area uh, by clicking it and then you press the spacebar to uh, listen to what you recorded. Test, one, two, test, test. And then what you need to do is to just export it. So you go to File, Export, and you choose the type of audio file that you'd like to export it to. I'm gonna choose um, a WAV file for better quality, but you can choose an MP3, which is a smaller file and more compressed. Um, I'll give it a name. It's important to be organized. Um, and I'll just select the desktop just to make it simple. Um, and that's it. That's all you need to do in order to uh, make a recording in Audacity. I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.